Hey folks, welcome to Craftmas Day 17. Today we're going to be making these little note card, the little note cards, envelopes, and the box that they go in. Okay, we're going to make four of these little cards and the box they go in, along with the little belly bin. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm go I will be using my envelope punch board for the envelopes, um, but you can just um, take your card. If you want, you can just take your card and a six by six piece of paper and um, fold around your card. Okay, so you can do that if you don't have an envelope um, punch board. So. And I think that this was um, a craft making um, by Heather, um, and I just tweaked it a little to, um, like with the belly band and stuff, to, um, you know, make it something a little different. So we are going to start with cutting, and I think I'm going to cut everything at one time. Uh, I see uh, I have found that that kind of makes it a little easier to keep me from going back and forth with um, stuff. So you are going to need um, one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, a 12 by 12 piece of paper for your box, and a 12 by 12 piece of paper for your envelopes. And then I just use the same piece that I'm going to cut off of for my um, you know, for the pattern paper that goes over it. Okay, so we're going to start first with cutting what we need for our four cards. You get four cards out of one piece of eight and a half by 11, okay? And you're going to take it on the eight and a half side and cut at four and a quarter. Okay, so four and a quarter. Okay, and then you're going to rotate and you're going to cut it five and a half. There's two, and then here's your other two, five and a half. Okay, so we have that. Then for our box, we are going to cut it at nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter, okay. Oh, I need that. Uh, I need that. By a seven and seven eighths. Okay. So nine and a quarter by seven and seven eighths. Okay. So that's going to be for our box. Then we're going to take our um, what's left over of that page and you're going to cut it one and a half. This is for your belly band. Going to cut it one and a half by nine. Okay, so your belly band is one and a half by nine. Then you can get rid of those pieces, okay? Then for your envelopes, you're just gonna cut your 12 by 12 into four um, six by six. So you have that six, okay? And then this six, so there's two, and then this, you cut it six again, and you'll have four pieces of six by six, okay? Then for your pattern paper, you're going to cut at four inches, this is going to be for your cards, cut it four inches, okay, and then you're going to need four of these because you have four cards. Um, two and a half, so four inch by two and a half. That's three and a half. <laughs> I was like, that looks big. Two and a half. Two and a half. Four by two and a half. Okay, so four by two and a half. Not three and a half. So two. three and four, okay? 
And that's going to be for your cards. So, we'll set them over here with the cards. Then for your box, you're going to need one four and a half, nope, nope, four and a quarter. You need two, two, four and a quarter. Because your box um, is a little bigger than your, um, a little bigger than your um, cards, of course. So four and a quarter by two, and you need two of those. Okay, and then you need one that's four and a quarter by three, and that will be for the back of your box. Okay, then, so these are all for the box. Okay, then for your belly band, you will need, um, we will just, we're not going to cover the whole thing. We're just going to cover um, part of the belly band. Okay, so it'll be, I think, um, we'll wait on the belly band and then see um, which strip we want to use um, out of these for the belly band. So we'll wait and cut that at the end. Um, okay, so we're done with all that. Now we need our scoreboard. And we're going to do some scoring, okay? We're going to score our box. We're going to score our box and our belly band. So, the box, we're going to put it on the seven, seven and, ouch, seven and seven eight side, okay? And we're going to score it at one, one and five eighths, which is right past the half, okay? And then we're going to score it at six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, and then six and seven eighths, which is right before the seven. Then we're going to rotate it, and we're going to score it at two and three eighths, three and one eighth, six and three eighths, and seven. Okay, and if you have a scoreboard like this, then your increments are in eighths. Okay, and that's going to be for our box. Now for our belly band, we are going to score it at one and a half, two and three eighths, five and five eighths, which is right past the half, and then six and a quarter. Okay, so we have that. Now we can set that aside. Set all of that aside. Okay. So we have our box stuff we can set aside. We have our envelopes. I mean our cards and our things. Now we're going to work on the envelopes. Okay. Now, if you do not have an envelope punch board, remember you can just take this piece of paper and put it at an angle. Put your card in the middle and fold up. But since I have the um, envelope punch board, I'm going to use it. And for this, we're gonna our start is going to be three and a half. Okay. It's gonna say this on here, but so here's your measurements, and you're just gonna go to three and a half. You're gonna punch and score. Okay. Then you line it up with that other score line punch, whoops, punch, score, rotate, line it up with that score line, punch, score, rotate one more time, line it up with that score line, punch, and score. Alright, so that's one. Then you can take, and you have a corner rounder right here, and you just round your corners with it. Okay, I'll do one more and then I'll pause and do the rest of them, okay? So you don't have to hear the punch. So line it up with the three and a half, punch, score, rotate. Line it up with that score line, punch, score, rotate. 
punch, score, rotate, punch, score, and rotate. Okay, then put it in and and then there's that. I'll do these other two and then I will be right back. Okay, now we're going to start putting things together. Okay, so we'll start with our cards, and with our cards, what we're going to do is we're going to um, round all the corners. So with the with this one, I should be able to round all of them at the same time. We maybe not. Let's see. We can do two at a time for sure. So, we'll round all four of these corners. You hear my dogs in the background? Of course. Round those. Then, let me settle them. Okay. So, now we're going to take our cards and we're going to fold them in half. Okay. And then take your bone folder or whatever you're using for to reinforce the creases. Take that and reinforce. Last one. Okay. Now we're going to put our pattern paper on, which is right here. Now, for this, you are going to round corners just the um, one side. Okay. Now, what I do for these that I just use paper for and I'm not using anything else really for is I will oh, no. well, I would if I could find it rough up these edges here it is rough up these edges with like a paper um rough you know gives it a textured look if you um since these kind of need to be flat um this gives it a you know a kind of a textured look and i'm not going to do these with all these i'm just showing you it gives it a little texture look and then you could go if you have distress inks or anything like that you could go and um, run that over that but I like how it looks like that I don't usually use the distress inks over it but um, so that just you know stress de-stresses it a little bit okay I'm not gonna do that with all those because I know that sound um, bothers a lot of people and I don't want to um, bother any sensitivities that there may be. So now we're going to take, um, I'm going to turn it upside down, maybe it'll be easier. Um, we're going to take and just stick these down like that. Ow. So we'll just do all four of these. And this is a great little gift if you want to give to somebody who um, likes to send cards and stuff, who likes to do little notes and little cards. This would be a great gift. And I'm only doing four, but I think that you could do eight um, if you wanted to. I think eight would fit in there and we can test that out 
um, when we get this done. Okay. Then after this, we'll work on the envelopes, and then it'll be time to put the box together. Okay. So we're just going to stick it down. Then you have four little note cards now. You can put an extra piece in here for your writing if you want. If I had a um, colored that were darker than this, I would probably just add a white strip or um, something in it to uh, for to write on. Okay. Now we have our envelopes, and we're just going to fold on all the um, score lines. Okay, and then we will take our sticky tape, ATG gun, I know I should use the correct terminology for these things, and then we're going to stick that down. Okay, I leave this here, some do, some don't, it's totally your preference, totally your preference of which you would like to do. You can cut it, and um, you know, if you if it bothers you, cut it off. I like it, so I leave it. it does not bother me at all. Okay. Take this, stick it up. Take the card, put it in. Hold it down. Give it another good little crease. Two more. So, Christmas is fast approaching. We'll be here before we know it next week, actually. So, uh, I hope y'all are making the most of this year. hope that if you don't get to spend it with your family, maybe you can FaceTime or Zoom um, with your family. Set these aside and we'll bring our our um, um, box out. Okay, so you have this right here. You have these two right here in between those two and these two. We're going to cut those out. Completely out. We're just going to leave the middle section. We're cutting these two out. On all four corners. Okay. So then you have something like this. Then you're going to rotate it all the way around. We're only going to leave those middle sections. Come on. There you go. Okay, so then we're going to have something that looks like this. Now we're going to take and 
fold on all our score lines. Brush them down real good. Kind of make sure they're straight as possible. Fold it down. Straighten it a little if it needs to be straightened up. Okay. And you're going to decide which is your top and which is your bottom. Okay. So it's going to look like this. Well, not exactly. It's going to look like this when it's closed. Okay. So you need to, if you want to, round this corner. Oop, this corner all the way around it all the way yep these these top corners right here oh, on both sides okay so it's going to go up like this okay and then you can round these as well you don't have to if you don't want to, but you can if you want to. Okay, so then you're going to have something that looks like this. Now, before I put it together, I always put the paper on. So, we have two pieces that go here and here, and then one for the back, okay? The back one you do not do anything with. The two on the front, if you have rounded the corners, then you round... Um, two of the corners, okay? I'm gonna flip my box over and do it from the back so that it's easier easier to do. Okay. So we're gonna start down here. And I left a bigger um, edge around. You don't have to do that. You can measure your own. And because um, that's what I did, I just measured my own to decide, you know, how I wanted it to be. And that's what you can do. You just, I'm just showing you the bare necessities and then you can make it your own. Okay. So then we stick this down and push it down. Okay, so now we are going to put our box together. Decide which way you want it, whichever way you want it. And I think. We're going to go that way. Okay, so what you need to do is put glue on here. Okay, so put your glue on here. Put you some glue on this side. The reason I say put it on this piece is because. Um, this piece is longer than that piece and you will put too much glue okay so then you're going to take it and fold it up and line it up the best you can doesn't have to be perfect okay take your fingers in there that's why we use wet glue here so we can play with it. Okay. So we can play with it. Alright, and then take over here and line it up. Put your fingers in there. Line it up. Hold it for just a minute to get it stuck down. Then take your bone folder or whatever you're using and go in there 
and squeeze it down. Okay, and there's your box. The paper was coming up, so I needed to pop it down. Okay, so then you have a box. Okay, so your cards and your envelopes fit right in this box like this okay and now we need to work on our um, belly band so we're gonna fold our belly band up on the score lines okay Now what I do is I'm going to go ahead and put the paper on and you need a piece of paper that's one and a quarter by three. So let's see, that's too little. So we need to cut a piece, uh, let's see, let's cut this piece. And you can do whatever kind of, if you want a different pattern paper, if you want to just put like a sticker or something or anything like that on it, you can do that as well and not use the paper. So one and a quarter by three. Okay. And this is going to go right there. Right here. I would rough this up as well, but I'm not going to do that in case. Like I stated earlier, in case it bothers, um, let's peop in case people are sensitive to that noise. I don't want to um, bother them. Okay, crafting is supposed to be fun, not irritating. All right, so now we have this. Okay, and I'm going to turn this box over. And you have one side that's a little wider than the other, okay? So we're going to stick the wider side on, bring this over like this, okay? And then we're going to stick it down. Right, so we need to put tape. I use um, sticky strip for this. You do not have to. You can use glue or whatever you would like okay just make sure that you do it on opposite sides <laughs> trust me from experience okay then we're gonna take that off okay. we're gonna stick this down like this I'm gonna bring this over if it'll act right we're gonna bring it over Hold it, stick it down. Okay. Then you have your box with four envelopes in it, which would make a great gift. Now let's test the theory and see if we can get. Um, I need to stick that down more. See if we can get eight in there. Want to do that? Wonder what I did with the other box. Do anybody know? I don't know what I did with them. What did I do with them? Well, I don't know what I do with it. I guess we won't we won't test that theory. It's probably right here in front of my face. But I do believe that you can get eight in here because there's plenty of room left. So I think eight would fit in there for you. Then it would it makes a great gift for people who love like stationary things and all that look I found it who like stationary and stuff um, so let's just see if they'll all fit look, there you go I like it better with eight I would make eight I like it better with eight it feels full it's you know it feels stronger with eight in there. So I would do eight. 
so yep and they fit perfect they fit they fit nice in there so that's what I would do I would do eight so there is craftmas day 17 and if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can and um, until tomorrow I hope you enjoy crafting I hope you make some of these as gifts or for yourself and until then I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow bye